Tim Bowman. You may remember me from self production that. Spurred her name at once, Mrs. McAngel. Sit home up, choke. Today I'm here to present to you the history of projectors. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. As I present to you the history of projectors. Hi, I'm Richard Evans, Professor of Projectology at Bumblat University. I'm here to tell you about the main components of projectors. This is the power source. It's used to power the projector. Sometimes projectors get hot, so they need a fan. This helps cool it down. This is the power switch. It simply turns it on and off. This is where the image goes. And then this is the lens. That was the main components of an overhead projector. So, Rick, how do projectors work? Projectors work by uh, shining a light through an image, blowing it up onto a wall so everyone can see it. That's good. For still images, what about moving images? Well, moving images come on a strip that are uh, loads and loads of different pictures, and basically it plays it at a 24th of a second, which is about the rate of the human eye, so you can see it moving. That's good. These are the major parts of an 8mm moving projector. First we have the power source. Then we have the first reel where the film starts. It runs on to, where, to here where the second reel should be. We have the controls. And finally, again, we have the lens. Those were the major components of an 8mm moving projector. So what about 8mm and 16mm film projectors? What's the difference? Well, the difference between them is pretty much just the film size. You can get a better image quality out of a 16mm because you're projecting a bigger image. But most cinemas use uh, something called 32 inch, which is much bigger, so you can project it onto a massive screen. The components of a 16mm projector are pretty much the same as an 8mm. First, we have the power source. Then we have the larger first reel, where the film starts. The second reel, where the film ends, is slightly smaller. And the more advanced controls. And finally again, we have the lens. Those were the main components of a 16mm projector. We'll be back after this intermission. So that's good for f um, moving images, but what about sound? Well, Lee DeForest invented this. He found a way of burning sound photographically onto a, each frame. So each frame had a particular sound which played, giving the film sound. Well, they were just well. That's all well and good, but during the early 20th century, all films were silent. How comes? Well, it hadn't been invented yet. I really feel sorry for the actors who, whose voices didn't sound good on film. You're telling me. This is a multimedia projector. This is the power source and switch. These are the input sockets. The electronic... And finally, the lens. Very interesting. And what about home entertainment systems? I hear they have high quality projectors there. Is that true? 
Yeah, there is. Um, you have multimedia projectors that work electronically, and you can plug them into your TV, VCR, DVD, computer, pretty much anything electrical. You say anything electrical, hey? And what about kettles? They're electrical. Can you watch your water being boiled? Okay, then. This is Tim Bowen reporting on the history of projectors. And that was our presentation on the history of projectors. Hope you enjoy it. This is me, Tim Bowen, saying goodbye. Goodbye. And that's goodbye, goodbye from, from us. us. <laughs>